Greetings my brigade of watchers, the Watchful Pony here, and welcome to what'll be the first of many episodes of Bartending the Rift for the month of March. Yes, with this month containing the big drinking day itself, St. Patrick's Day, I figured it's only appropriate to do a couple drinking episodes. And I figured it's only appropriate we'd start the month of drinking with a creature from the very land that inspires this holiday. That's right, we're returning to the one and only Puka of the fandom, Twist of Fate. And we're going to be making the Puka Knot Shake. So first of all, you're gonna wanna get yourself a blender. Next, you're gonna fill it with mint chocolate chip ice cream. I didn't really measure this, so just put on as much as you want. Now we gotta start boozing this baby up, starting with some Irish cream. Seems only appropriate to start it with that. Go ahead and do two ounces of Irish cream. Next, of course, we gotta make this as Irish as possible, and that calls for Irish whiskey, specifically Jameson. Not sponsored by Jameson. I did two ounces, but you can add as much as you want to make this as boozy as possible. Next, we gotta give it a nice green tint, and when I think green, I think Midori. So go ahead and add an ounce of Midori. Now this is looking pretty good, but as you know with Twist, he's also kind of blue. So to make this more blue colored, yeah, we could use food coloring or we can use blue curacao. Just add a splash of this stuff. You don't want too much, otherwise the orange might overpower the other flavors. And of course, we can't forget either chocolate liqueur or cream de cacao. And I forgot to film it, but you might want to also add some cream de menthe to give it a more minty flavor. And of course, if you want to water this down a little bit, you can add in some milk. Now comes the final step blend that beautiful baby up blend 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 for a couple seconds till it's a nice milk shaky consistency what is the consistency of milkshakes anyway then just go ahead and pour that into a nice tall mug or a nice glass like this one now of course you can't forget the whipped cream and if you got the money for it i recommend you splurge on some hershey's chocolate whipped cream but no matter what whipped cream you use go ahead and put that on and there you have it and my thoughts on the drink this is actually very tasty it had a very nice minty chocolatey flavor to it and despite how strong Jameson is, you can actually barely taste it in this case. I think this is a drink that would make a Puka proud. I'm the Walter Pony, and happy drinking my bronies. I'll see you guys next time.